Hello and welcome. Version 1.10 of the Z1 Analyzer introduces the ability to create custom traces. This allows you to use mathematical formulas against any of the 50 data channels to create a desired trace or to combine multiple data channels in the same trace. They're a powerful tool that lets you display the data from your lab in almost any way you like. You can create a custom trace by selecting New Custom Trace from the File menu or by right-clicking on the Trace menu and choosing Custom Trace followed by New Custom Trace. The New Trace dialog is where you create or edit a custom trace. You can have up to four lines displayed in your trace. You can select the number of lines from this drop-down. Then to edit a line, just click within its box and it will become highlighted. Now, why do you need multiple lines in a trace? There may be occasions where one is enough, such as an inverse corner radius trace. This is a simple trace that combines two data points into a single line. But there may be times when you want to overlay data. This is where multiple lines are necessary. Overlaying the brake and throttle trace would require two lines, or overlaying tire temperatures from all four wheels would require four lines. So make sure you choose the correct number of lines for your custom trace's needs. You select the data that is displayed in each line using the data channels and operators. The data channels table lists all the available data that you can include in your trace. This data is listed alphabetically by default, but you can also choose to group the data together by topic by selecting Grouped from the Sort dropdown. Each item of data includes its name and its units. Take the break, for example. This is a percentage going from 0 to 1. And if you wanted it to be displayed as a percentage from 0 to 100, you would need to multiply it by 100. Now let's look at speed. This uses meters per second. So if you wanted to display it as miles per hour, you would have to multiply it by 2.23694. To add a data channel to your formula, just click the desired data channel in the table. Next up, the operator buttons. They work just like a calculator. Click the desired ones and they will be added to the formula. If you make a mistake and want to delete the last item entered into your formula, click the Delete Step button. You can also choose the number of decimal places used to display the data in the trace. This is zero by default, but you can choose to have up to four decimals displayed in the trace. Make sure you give your custom trace a name and then click Create Trace. The Z1 Analyzer will check your formulas to make sure they can be calculated. If there is a problem, you will be alerted to the issue and will have to fix the formula before creating a trace. Once your trace has been created, it will be available under the Custom Traces section of the pop-up menu. Right-click on any trace to display the pop-up menu. Then select your new custom trace from the Custom Trace menu, and there you go your very own trace displaying exactly what you wanted. If you want to make changes to your custom trace, choose Edit Custom Traces from either the File menu or the Custom Trace pop-up menu. This displays a dialog that lists all existing custom traces. Double-click the one you want to edit, and the Edit Trace dialog is displayed. This functions the same way the New Trace dialog does. Once you have made your changes, click Save Trace to exit, or Cancel to discard the changes. Thanks for watching, and always make sure you are using the latest version of the Z1 Analyzer.